Josh Andrews is dressed and on the sideline. I can see him there with his hands on his hips. And we have a new quarterback in. as Jordan McCarty comes in for the Tigers. So Jordan McCarty is going to get some snaps here, and there's no reason why the Tigers shouldn't try something different. And it's a draw play on first down, and Hancock is dropped right at the feet of the quarterback, and that play will lose about six yards back to the 14-yard line. Joshua Banks was in the backfield, almost took the ball away. Six-yard loss on a play. So, so Jordan McCarty, the Tigers' freshman, six foot three, 195-pound quarterback, will get a chance to show what he can do here. It's second down and 16 from the 14-yard line, and McCarty will operate out of the gun. He gets the high snap, throws the flanker screen, and completes it to Trey Powell. And Powell will get out close to the original line of scrimmage at the 20-yard line. It'll be third down and 10. Nicholas Lurgent with the tackle for Delta. So they get the six-yard back, so it'll be third and 10. Third down and 10 from the 20. McCarty with Hancock in the backfield, standing directly to his left out of the shotgun. And McCarty back to throw, steps up, throws over the middle, and completes it to Jamel Turner. He's got a lot of room to run. He's at the midfield. He's at the 40. He is at the 30-yard line of Delta before he's tackled by Damian McMiller. But again, the Tigers complete a pass to Jamel Turner, and almost every time he touches the ball, something positive happens for the Tigers. He has been their most consistent weapon on offense this season. And he does it again. A good throw from Jordan McCarty. And the Tigers with a first down at the 30-yard line of Delta. So the Tigers with a 50-yard pickup on that play. So they have 97 yards in two big plays, but no points on the board as of yet. First and 10 from the Delta 30. McCarty steps up to throw over the middle, completes it. A hard hit, but keeping possession of the ball was Kendrick Peoples. And, and I... And I, the, that's a gain of five, second down to five. I'd forgotten all about the Delta coaches who whine and complain from the coaches booth on every play. I forgot that. Was, it's been two years since they've been here, so that's going to be an enjoyable thing. Listen for that in the background, folks. Second down and five from the 25. McCarty, another high snap, and he, the handoff to Darren to uh, Darren Hancock, and Hancock will lose a couple back to the 27. Tripped so, up by Joshua Banks. Yeah, two high snaps in a row there. And uh, Jordan McCarty was able to handle both of them, but you're flirting with disaster when that happens. So after the Tigers picked up 47 yards on a run by Hancock, the last three rushing plays have resulted in a net minus 14. Third down and seven from the 27, and a high snap goes over the head of McCarty, and just like I said, they were flirting with disaster, and it happens, and it'll be fourth down for the Tigers as McCarty falls on the bad snap all the way back in Tiger territory at the 48, 47-yard line. Who are you pointing at? Rachel Guevara came up with a loose ball. He recovered the, the, the bad snap. That was... Jordan McCarty no, fell on his own fumble. No, no, no. no. I have to disagree. Guevara had it. Are you sure about that? Yes, yes. He went back and recovered no. his own fumble. No, even Mark said Gu Guevara recovered it. Oh, I must be. I, now I can't even read the Tiger numbers. <laughs> <laughs> We had a really nice conversation at halftime with Jordan's dad, who's sitting right in front of us here in the stands at Freely High School. What a very nice man he is, and agreed with us that, you know, this is a young team that's going to take its lumps this year, but if they can get everybody back next year with a year of experience under their belts, this could be a completely different set of circumstances for next year. But that's next year. Right now it's fourth down, and... Padikian will be punting 